So today, as you can see, I'm in a different background. This is a white backdrop, so that's why I kind of got bored of my my old setup. So sometimes I might just have this, you know. So I'm looking in the viewfinder right now, I'll just see if I can look if I look okay because my first time using this. But yeah, so also in my room, the lights, like the the normal lights in my room, like they're not working and like. I don't know, the camera has like weird like lines on, I don't know, but I can't really film my room so I'm filming somewhere else. Yeah, so today we're going to be doing a different kind of video, well, I always say that, you know. But basically today I'm going to be doing a trying Swedish candy or chocolate video since I went to Sweden on holiday and the vlogs will be coming soon. So yeah, I'm sorry for moving around a lot because I'm currently standing up. So, yeah, I have this bag full of stuff, well not full of stuff, full of chocolates from Sweden and I'm going to be trying out everything that's in this bag. So yeah, okay, so let's start. I'm just going to close my eyes and pick out something from the bag. Oh, the thing is, this bag is all sticky because we had some like McDonald's apple juice in it and it all like leaked and then it's all sticky everything feels so weird and sticky ugh okay so the first chocolate is this one and I'm just gonna hold it in one hand so just one of my hands can be sticky it's I don't like sorry if I pronounce these wrong because I'm not Swedish and yeah but basically it's Tupla or Tupla, I don't know, and it's roasted corn, so you can't really see that well because of my light, but yeah. So I'm not really sure how this is going to taste because everything's in Swedish apart from the roasted corn bit. Oh, okay, it looks like this. I don't know. It smells pretty good. It smells like a lion bar. Oh, there's two inside. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I have a feeling it's gonna be nice though, but I don't know. Roasted corn doesn't seem that nice, but okay. I'm sorry for the brightness. I put the brightness a bit down so you could see the chocolate, so that's why. So crunchy and chewy. This actually tastes good, you know. It tastes of um. A lion bar, if you ever had that, we have them in the UK. Alright, so this actually tastes pretty good. So yeah, this looks like that. A lot of these were on offer, so like two for this much. So I got the same one, but I got a different sort of flavour, if you will. So this is the Tupla King Size version. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and see what this one is about. <laughs> well, they pretty much look the same though. Oh, I forgot to say, that one I would rate a 9 out of 10. I would give it a 10 if it's like really good, but you know. So this one looks pretty much the same. I'm just gonna try it. I like the other one though. This one tastes pretty good. I would say about 8 out of 10. But this one is like a bit more chewy and it doesn't really have any crunchy bits in it. It just tastes like a Mars bar with like some nuts or something. I don't know what it is, but it's like a bit more sticky. Okay, so next I have this one, and this is corny, big, dark chocolate cookies, I don't know, the name's kind of weird, but yeah, so I just wanted to choose something other than chocolate, if you know what I mean. So I just chose this, it looks pretty good, I guess. So it looks like this, it just looks like an energy bar or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Uh, I guess it's alright. It's probably not that good for like eating normally though. It just tastes like a cereal bar or a granola bar or something like that. So yeah, I'll give this like a 7 out of 10. It tastes alright but there's nothing special about it if you know what I mean. So far my favourite is the Tupla roasted corn. So I mean it right now. Alright, so next is this one and it's the Kina wafer. And it just looks like this. 
and I feel like it's probably just gonna be like a chocolate wafer thing and yeah I think I'm right okay I'm just gonna take a bite out of this yeah, I was right. Very chocolatey. Maybe it's because I had so many chocolate. That was very right, this. An 8 out of 10. Although it does have like the cheap kind of tasting thing. It was pretty cheap, I guess. But yeah, that's that one. So I'm going to give us some water, please. It's in my room. Bottle. Okay, so next. Next, I'm going to have these Droste Holland pastilles. And this is just. I don't know, they had so many different flavours. Catch! Ow! Sorry. Ow! Okay, so it just looks like this, and it's basically butterscotch flavoured pastilles. I don't know. Um, they had plain chocolate, but I thought I would get something a little bit different because this, like, you know, I wanted to try something a bit different. It's actually really hard to open. It just looks like this long tube. Oh, it's just like loads of these little chocolate things you know I'm disappointed with this one I thought it was special I look at the packaging it looks so fancy and basically what it is is just little circles of chocolate that's all it is it still tastes good but I don't know it was basically one pound Kinda of feel sick now, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, I'll rate that about 8 out of 10. Okay, I'm just gonna have some water because we're not even like done. Alright, so this was 10 pros. Sunrise classic choco milk chocolate filled with puff rice. I kinda have an idea how, what this is gonna taste like already, but yeah, let's just go ahead. Ooh, it looks quite fancy. Well, not really fancy, it just looks a bit weird. I don't know if you can see all that rice and puffiness. Okay, I'm just gonna have a bite out of it like this. Oh, what is this? I don't see the point of putting puff rice in chocolate. It's messing the chocolate up. The chocolate tastes good, but it's like um, the puff rice part, it's like I'm chewing on paper not even I'm not even lying it, it tastes like paper like a 5 out of 10 the chocolate tastes alright but the puff rice I don't see the point I don't see why you would put puff rice in chocolate anyway let's just move on this one I've tried before and it's one of my personal favorites it just tastes like Kit Kat it's called Kex chocolate and yeah it looks like this it's like one of the most popular ones probably and yeah so it's basically like a wafer, but it tastes really good. So I'm gonna have a bite out of this. Mmm. It tastes so good. And it doesn't taste cheap. Like, this one right here, the Kina wafer, tasted cheap. This one tastes good. This one just tastes really, really good. Um, I would probably give this like a 9 out of 10. As I said, I love it. Like, it tastes so good. But there's nothing special about it, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. The next one is Marabou and... This is like one of the most popular Swedish chocolates. And this one is a dame, dame, I don't know. Like the dame thing. And yeah, so let me just try it out. Okay. I'll give it, a, I'll give it eight out of 10. It tastes like chocolate with crunchy bits in it. it tastes pretty good, you know. Okay, next up it's from the same brand and it's from Marabou and it's an Oreo filled one and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this because any sort of Oreo chocolate tastes good to me. This one was actually really expensive, it's 320 grams, so it's pretty big. This was like two pounds something, not that expensive, but I mean, for a chocolate, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> By the time this camera focuses, it's gonna melt, <laughs> but yeah, it looks like that. It looks super appetizing. Like, the filling, it's basically chocolate, then it has some cream, then it has the Oreo. The cream is so creamy, oh my god. This one deserves a 10 out of 10 because I just love Oreos. You know what? I'm gonna fly all the way to Sweden. It's not that expensive, it cost me like 30 pounds or something. But, I fly all the way there just to get this chocolate. 
I can find <laughs> the same thing, so anyway, but you know, this one tastes a lot better. Okay, so this last one isn't really a chocolate, but I decided to get it because, you know, why not? So it's from my favorite as well, but it's basically a cookie and it's the home style soft inside cookies with chocolate chips in it. So let's dig in, shall we? Oh, it looks like this, just like normal chocolate chip cookies. Tastes good, you know? The middle of it is like sort of chewy, like, like it's undercooked, but in a good way, like it tastes good. A 9 out of 10, tastes really good. But as I said, it's nothing really special. Alright, so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the button, it's literally just there and it takes one second to click it. It will actually mean the world to me. I really, really appreciate you guys and uh, just saying lots of giveaways. I can't do that thing. <laughs> but lots of giveaways will be coming. One will be coming really, really soon. So do watch out for that. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.